It's actually the um, a break do flickies ABS module. That's what I'm looking for, or as I call it, the break do flickies. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Fern be with you. And welcome, welcome to my little corner of the interwebs. It's great to have your company. Thank you so much for dropping by. Now, I thought we'd do a quick episode of the 15 minute makeover uh, series we've got running here in Car Mechanic 2015. Uh, as you can see, the garage is actually filling up with a number of repairs. So, so let's actually get straight into it. Uh, we've got the Maserati MC Strydale. Uh, here and uh, it's got a number of issues going on but the important uh, number here the uh, is the 93 percent that's our magic number today we need to repair the uh, uh, the parts up exceeding uh, 93 percent so obviously they've got to be over 93 or above find and fix a gear find and fix any running gear problems okay none of those discovered uh, brake systems and repair body parts okay so we might even actually make a start on those body parts it's fairly easy so we've got a, a hood uh, left tail light and ra uh, rear tail light. So let's hood and two tail lights. I said tail lights. There we go. Uh, back up to the repair table and see if we can't get those up. There. No, broke that one. And that one. No, I broke them all. Yay me. Okay, so if you can look at our inventory, we broke those. Uh, 0%, 1%. Yep, the. Uh, Totally knackered, of course. So, <clears throat> um, <laughs> wrong button. That one we want. Part shop. Maserati hood. That's him. Uh, Maserati left and right tail light. Maserati MC Strider left tail light. Maserati MC Strider right tail light. Lovely doubly. Make sure we put the new ones on, of course, not the old ones. Speaking of the old ones, let's get into our inventory and clear that out. So, what that enables us to do is just check repair and replace bodies parts. Done that. Done and dusted. Okay. Find and fix all running gear problems. Well, that's going to be the easy one to, uh, to in regards to the brake section. Hmm. We've got a lot of running gear problems. I wonder whether we run up through the test track to do, do, do test pass and uh, see whether it gives us more of an idea. Where is it? Over here. Uh, see whether it gives us more of an idea of, of where those parts are located. So bear with me while I run it through these and hopefully we get more of an idea. Okay, it does in fact give us more of an idea. We've got rubber bushes, we've got uh, brakes what that we knew about, suspension arms, brakes, calipers, rubber bushes, front construction. Uh -huh. Okay, so that gives us more of an idea what we're what we're looking at. Did it put it back on the lift or it did? Awesome. <clears throat> so look, just by running through the test path gives us uh, about half of what we needed. So it gives us a, a good starting point. So as we get those brake components off. Uh, we're able to look at those suspension parts as well. So let's do that. Let's get the old girl in the air and get some of these brake components off. And uh, we'll look at those suspension components as we take those off as well. Off with the wheel, brake calipers. They need to do with the brakes, so you can pretty well just uh, rip straight off. Uh, brake shoes. Now, here's our uh, suspension parts that uh, it's given us that are. No good to us at all. Again, remembering our magic number is 93%. So, uh, where are we going? Front shock, shock absorber. We need to come with that. That needs to come off first. Spring and the outer tie rod. Do, 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 do. So, we got that. We can take that off when we get to the engine bay. On the other side, again, getting these brake components off. Uh, they actually don't look too bad on this side, but. Um, whether we 
need to take in the earth. That's a lot of suspension arm um, needs to come over, obviously. Hmm, okay. Those brake components could almost stay there for the time being at least. Uh, we need to take the front end link off there so we can get this, uh, the sway bar off. Uh, like so. Low suspension arm. And while we're here, we'll take that rubber busher out too. He looks uh, completely naked. You know, coming back from that one. What about these others? Let's. While we're down this end, we'll just bounce over this side and see whether those other rubber bushes are any good. 99% on that one. 99% on that one. So they are, look to be fine. Okay. Brake section down the end here. We should find some more. Uh, troubled brake components down this end. Uh, brake caliper, yep, is uh, naked. You might be able to repair him up, but we'll take the disc off as well. Here's some of our suspension components that we knew we were going to come across as we were taking these parts out. Another rubber, rubber busher there that's uh, 4%. He's, uh, yep, completely naked. That's a throwaway job, that. What about this critter here? 99, he's going to be fine. Do, 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 do. All brake components on on this end, I should imagine. As you can see, they look pretty pretty rusted and deformed and uh, pretty ordinary. So obviously they're going to come straight out. We won't even need to uh, check whether they're any good or not. We can tell by just by looking under. Uh, no good at all. We got a rubber bush there. He's going to need a new one there. Uh, that suspension arm here mm, doesn't need to come out. Yes, it would because we need to take this rear axle knocker rear axle knuckle housing out <clears throat> uh, excuse me uh, do, 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 that one take the rear drive out the bearing in is somewhere too like so what was that a solid axle was it I think that's that's what that one's called and uh, yeah quite a number of components over here that's going to need certainly replacing that Robert bushes I don't even need to look at that yeah 28 percent he's a uh, he's no good at all there and rear rear end link. There we go. And rubber busher and knuckle. Um, what am I missing? Oop, that one there. That will do it. And the shock absorber. Is it 94? Can we say a magic number was 93? I'll keep glancing over because I actually wrote it down just save me um, flicking back to the screen. So that's the idea behind that. Okay, so it looks like we've got suspension parts down here. They're going to need some love of there. It look like that's mm, that spring. We'll take that spring off. It looks a bit rusty, doesn't it? Doesn't give us a. a there we go. Front spring down the bottom right-hand corner. You just saw front spring at four percent. So let's see what we have and have not discovered. So uh, find and fix all running gear problems found. All those. Brake systems, two missing, and if my memory serves me correctly, it's actually the um, uh, brake do flickies uh, in the uh, these things down here. ABS module, that's what I'm looking for. Or as I call it, the brake do flickies. Uh, look, whatever works for you. And the ABS pump. So that should, in fact, be our total list. Uh, we did that one, brake system. Aha. Uh -huh. Right, so as I said, magic number 93%. So let's go over to the repair table. 93% is what we're after. Flickety flickety flick. Break, break, break. And the rest of them are at 94. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Inventory. Uh, sort by condition. Okay, so let's go to shorten that list down. Let's just go tie, tie rods two off. Uh, Two adders, in fact. Tie rod. Parts, can, parts section, that'd be a good start. Tie rods. Adders, two of. Get rid of those. Okay, so let's flick through the each section there just so we don't miss anything. Exhaust, we didn't get anything out. Brakes, obviously, was the one that we uh, need to look at fairly extensively. Uh, so up until there to the 94 they're going to be fine, so we want a uh, ventilated, a disc and a pad. Mm. Brakes. 
ventilators, this pad, and a pump. No, module. Module. There we go. So ventilator, disc, pad, and module. That should be all the brakes taken care of. Running gear should be a fairly extensive, and it is. Uh, how are we going to do this? Let's go. Let's just put in. Uh, that should uh, just condense the search down. So we got one, two, three, four rubber bushes. Rubber. One, two, three, four. Okie dokie. Uh, so we've got two rears and a front. Yep, the other front spring is going to be the fine there. So uh, spring, two rears and a front. Front, rear, rear. All of those. And um, rear drive axle. And a front absorber cap. Rear drive axle. Rear drive axle, that's all it's called. Do 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 do. Where for out there, rear drive axle. I've got to flick past it. Rear drive axle. Front absorber cap. Front shock absorber. I wonder if we go shock. Front shock absorber and front cap. Absorber cap. Rear suspension arm A. Let's go back to rear. Rear. Rear suspension A, rear suspension arm A, rear suspension, rear suspension upper arm, rear suspension upper arm, um, sway bar, rear end link. One of those, and front sway bar B. Go back to the front. Point sway by B. Front sway by B. Okay, so that's those. Uh, <clears throat> obviously, these are up to a 94%, so that exceeds our 93 uh, magic number. So um, they're going to be fine. So that's still the running gear taken care of. Engine-wise, there's nothing in there. So that, in fact, should be everything. So we should be in a position to start to put some of these bits and bobs back in. And uh, hopefully we uh, we get to do this all by the, uh, the 15 minutes that we, uh, we allow ourselves. So how are we doing for time? Is anyone counting? Hopefully you are, because um, I, I actually forgot to start the timer up. Let's get that down. Let's get the uh, girl on the air. And we'll get the remainder of these brake components and suspension components popped into play. And um, I'm just actually just hesitating just slightly as I put these parts in, just to confirm that they are in fact meeting or exceeding our magic number of 93% now. We know that sway bar is going to be fine because we've got a brand new one. Same as these outer, um, uh, outer tie rods. Uh, yep. Want him in here. Now, was there proper bushes on this side? There was not. So we can put all the uh, brake components on this side and uh, swing around to the other side once we have all these brake components. Uh, stowed away so how are we doing for time anyone uh, give us a time check okay let's pop around this side here do 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 rubber bushes on this side it was that wasn't it there's one here and a couple down the end wasn't there lower suspension arm we had to buy a brand new one of those because the other one was completely knackered 
Uh, add a tie rod. Again, brand new part on that one. Do 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 do. Now suspensions. Spring here at 94, so here's going to be fine. Brand new shock absorber going in. And brand new. Oh, that was a 99. I bet that's alright. I thought that was a new one, but it wasn't. <laughs> what are we missing? Here we go. And once that is there, that should allow us to put the wheel back on. That does. Right, nose up. Remember, lefty loosey, righty tidy. Nice and tight. Back down to the rear end. There's quite a few bits and bobs down this end that we're going to need to uh, square away in there. So, rubber bushes, let's do that one first. Uh, rear axle, suspension arm. Upper suspension arm. Might as well get these stoved away while we're standing here as well. I think the, uh, the rear suspension arm we didn't actually need to, well one of them we need to uh, take out, didn't we? The other one didn't. Uh, he would have a rubber bush as well. Do, 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 around this side for the uh, sway bar rear end link. Rear end link. The rubber as well. Got to buy a brand new one of those. I mean the uh, the, the uh, rubbers aren't expensive obviously, but what it's needs, so that's what it gets. To be about here, we can actually get the uh, the wheel hub on now, like so. Bearing, the axle, and now the brake components. Getting those stoved away fairly quickly, and the wheel. And around to our last quarter. Now, would we do we have any rubbers on this side? No, no, there. Uh, we did have a. Oh, did we not buy buy one of those? Rear suspension upper arm. We better get one of those really quickly. Rear suspension upper arm. Rear suspension upper arm. What we want? Try that again. I'm sure we would have picked up, uh, picked that up. That I uh, missed that for some reason. I obviously must have uh, yeah, skimmed straight past that. That's all good. These things happen. This is why I'm not a, uh, a real life mechanic. I'll give you the big tip. Okay, we'll on straight away, and we should be getting very, very close to completion, hopefully. Okay, green lights across the board, which is a good sign. Uh, green, green, green. Won't, I won't list all those off. You can see what those are. Uh, I'll repair those. We've already done that. So all the parts we put in exceed the 93%. Money spent on job just over uh, $4,000. And some uh, coin for completing the task gives us a total earned of almost $8,000. Excellent. How do we go for time? Almost $8,000. That's nice. That's nice. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining me on this 15-minute uh, makeover. Certainly do appreciate your company. And I'll look forward to it in the next one.